Hello, welcome to Casual Veteran Gamer. Today I have got a surprise for you because this was a surprise for me while I was preparing for the, make another video. So we're looking through some of the game files. I've basically been trying to spawn in Crusher's Ring. But while spawning, a bit of a tangent, found some other things I want to spawn in. And I have here, it doesn't, you can see this yellow circle. I have found, the, not V, but a dark shambling mound. It has no model apparently. I can't see any model there anyway. We can examine it. And actually, it's got some stats, slightly fleshed out. If you didn't know, Shambling Mound is a type of creature in the Monster Manual from the tabletop version. It is a plant. This is a dark Shambling Mound, so maybe this is something we can find if we take the overground route to Moonrise Towers. Who knows? So I'm going to fight it. We can't see it, but it does fight back. And then see if I can raise it with Glut, which I haven't tried yet. So, start as we mean to go on. I can hit it there. Uh, before we do that, one quick check here. Uh, it doesn't have any resistances or immunities. Right. <laughs> uh, proficiency bonus is plus three, even though it's only level one here. But presumably it's going to be high level once it's fully in the game. Initiative is minus one because its dexterity is only eight. It's got quite a few hit points with relative low armor class. Uh, race is plant. Which is, there aren't very many plant enemies. Right. Uh, we're going to fight <laughs> against this invisible enemy, right. Try and make this quick as possible. I'm completely outnumbering this enemy. There's no way I should be losing this. A tiny bit worried about Glut dying, because I haven't really healed him very much. Try and get him away. And we've got our friend here, Gandrel the Gur. Since he's the thing I lost, Rose from the dead. May as well use him as I would use any other ranger. Oh, yeah. Ooh, where's it going to? Interesting. I had actually spawned this in a no, different, different game where it was just. I was at the beginning of the game, and it was Shambling Mound, about two of them, were fighting. Oh, I was frightened, that's why. Silly me. Right. This should be relatively easy, since we're just firing down on it. Ooh, it's going to have to be level two, guiding bolt. Nice. Right. Yeah, skip that. Just going to try and be as quick as possible. Not necessarily taking the most... Ah, oh, no. It's broken. That's not the first time it's, the game has crashed when I've got the Knoll's flail switching. I'll have to ch probably change that weapon on laser. All right, finally killed the Dark Shambling Mound. Taking a bit of time getting back into the game. Let's just go and see if I can actually raise it. I'm not sure I will be able to. Oh, invalid target. What a shame. I'm guessing it's because it's a plant and not a humanoid or beast. You can see that I've got it highlighted at the top. So I can't see much more than that. So this is what I can leave you with. Just this stat screen for the Dark Shambling Mound. I'm sure we'll find out more about it later uh, as the patches come out and as the full game finally gets released. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. A uh, quick request, if anyone wants to send me a build of a character you want me to look at, maybe critique, just show off maybe, send me an email, it's in the description below, uh, because I've just started receiving emails with with builds inside them, and I think it could be quite interesting to show you guys. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.